the new BMW 6 Series GT slots in the same space vacated by the old, rather unloved 5 Series GT. That means a longer wheelbase, more interior and luggage space and greater focus on comfort than a 5 Series saloon or touring, at a significantly lower price point than a 7 Series. At launch, it's years in, 4-cylinder, rear-wheel drive, 630i or, 6-cylinder, 640ix drive or 630d specification, the latter with either rear or all-wheel drive. A choice of SE or M Sport trims are available in the UK. We're testing the 640ix drive M Sport. Remind me why it isn't just called 5 GT again? It fits with BMW's new naming logic, where odd-numbered models are traditional saloons, SUVs and hatchbacks, or five-door saloons with a swoopy roof, but even numbered models are coupes and convertibles, or four- or five-door models with coupe-like roofs, or front-wheel drive MPVs with either conventional roofs or higher, square roofs that definitely don't look like a coupe. The BMW product planners must be furious that we are still Punch's desk, not Punch's desk, understanding Punch's desk, ziz, Punch's desk To be fair, though, there is a certain amount of logic The existing 6th series range is upping 6th to 8th series territory when it's replaced That leaves space for something more premium than a 5 to fill that gap